Okay, if you get the DJI Avada with the uh, motion combo, which is my recommendation, uh, you you get the Avada and its battery. I'm going to set that aside. And the motion combo is quite interesting. Uh, it includes this motion controller that allows you to tilt and uh, angle the uh, this controller to uh, move the drone around. There's a trigger here to uh, to control the throttle, uh, a big brake button, um, and various other controls to tilt and record. Um, the uh, thing that makes it really cool is it includes this headset. Uh, it's a VR headset with wireless antenna, uh, and uh, this connects via this cable to a battery and of course it comes with a head strap I'm not putting that on yet because I just want to show you a few things first uh, so uh, you put this on your head so you're, you're not seeing the actual drone but you're seeing through the drone's camera itself uh, here, pop the cover off. So you're, you're looking through the drone's camera as this thing flies around. Uh, so it's the closest you're going to come to actually flying. Um, of course, the way you view that, let's remove this uh, cover, which uh, protects it from damage uh, via the sun. And uh, you're looking through these lenses. Uh, and it's uh, very nice. They, they include uh, adjustments. You can slide this side to side to fit your particular eye width. Uh, there's an adjustable free side. And there's a dial that you turn to set this to your prescription. So uh, if you have perfect vision, uh, it comes preset to zero. Um, and zero, uh, it, if everything looks sharp when you're that close to uh, viewing, uh, that's fine. Uh, if you're a bit uh, far uh, nearsighted, you might need to adjust this. You can go as far as a minus eight diopter. And if you wear glasses, you can look up what your prescription says. And it's adjustable for each eye. You can also go as far as plus two for uh, farsightedness. So it's a very uh, nice and very one of the best uh, I've seen in VR headsets for adjusting to suit your particular eyes. Uh, it also, if that's not enough, uh, comes with a spare set of uh, lens holders. Uh, there's a, a lens there just, you know, for that you can scan the QR code to uh, see more information. But basically this comes apart uh, and then you can put your own uh, lenses, which I suppose would have to be custom made for the DJI Avada. You see where that comes apart? You just pop it on each of the sides and snap it in. And then you can replace the built-in lenses with these lenses, I suppose. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works, but <laughs> there's a way to do it. And uh, it's, it's a really nice system. So getting back to the straps, uh, these through the notches in the side here. A little tight at first. There's one side. The other side in. And then this has adjustable Velcro strap. You put it on your head, tighten that up, press it down, and then you're good to go. I've got a twist here because I put this one in upside down. Goes from the outside in, loops through, and connects. And you've got a fair range of adjustment here with how far you can uh, widen this. There, if your, your head is quite large or you have hair or something, um, and 
or tighter if you need to. There we go, that's pretty small. So a very uh, thoughtfully designed and well-made system to uh, power this on. Uh, as with other DJI products, you press this button once, then press and hold, and then it switches on. So first I'm gonna charge this battery here more. <laughs> And the headset itself, after you power on, uh, walks you through um, how the controls work. Uh, another very interesting thing, this has a uh, touch-sensitive pad on the side. There's no buttons, if you remember, or if you've seen the uh, DJI FPV had uh, various buttons up here that you had to press and, and maneuver to uh, adjust. This one has a little touch sensor, so you can slide with gestures to make changes. Uh, also, of course, it has the uh, uh, SD card, micro SD card, so you can put that in and it records uh, uh, in the uh, headset as well as on the drone. So that way, if worst case, your drone uh, goes down somewhere and you can't access it again in the ocean or something, uh, you've still got the footage from your headset that you can use. It'll be a little lower quality than directly from the drone, but at least you've got it. Uh, there's head headphone uh, plug there, and on this side there's the uh, an additional um, USB connection. So, very nice uh, set. I highly recommend if you're going to get a DJ about it, get the motion combo so that you can use uh, the uh, VR system the way it was intended with uh, DJI's super awesome motion controller intuitive uh, way to fly your FPV drone.